As a matter of fact, way before the King James, the Geneva Bible was out. King James banned the Geneva Bible. And you say, wait a minute, if the Geneva Bible is such a good book, why was it banned? Well, let me tell you why it was banned. First of all, in any of the stuff that I've got, you're more than willing, I'm more than willing to let you take a look at. This is a, this is a little pamphlet of the instructions to the translators. And if you, if you see this, you understand real quick what's going on. You start to understand some of the things that are going on with it. Uh, and part of the thing is, let me, let me just give you one quote out of the Geneva of 1591. Ephesians 6, 11, 12. See if you can figure out anything that might cause a king not to want to have this out. Put on the whole armor of God that you may abide to stand against the assaults of the devil. For we wrestle not only against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. Sounds pretty familiar so far, right? And against worldly governors who are the princes of darkness of this world, against spiritual w w wickedness which are in the high places. Now that basically says the governments are all evil. Can you understand why they wouldn't want to get rid of something like that? Well, they in fact did. And as a matter of fact, if you read the instructions, you find out that they left out a lot of things. The true meaning of baptism. The true meaning of what the church is. And the reason why they did it is they wanted to be able to control the people. They wanted to say that the government is divinely empowered and that the church, you got to listen to, and of course, he controlled the church. 1810 talks about some of the real purposes of the King James Version and it's not what you were taught in school or not what you were taught most other places. So, for those reasons, the King James Bible, and of course the, the following editions, there's a book called, by the way, uh, New Age Bible Versions, and it's by Gail Ripplinger. And it talks about 65,000 plus changes in the King James versions to some of the New Age versions. There's 20,000 changes from the Geneva to the King James. So you kind of get the idea that they're trying to change everything around so it means something totally different than what it originally meant. Let's talk about the pre-revolutionary war. The Rothschilds. Their goal was to control the world through controlling money. Very simple philosophy. I don't care who control who the government is, let me control the money and I will control the country. And they did exactly just that. Their plan was to finance both sides of the wars. They did that. They took over the Bank of England by financing the Napoleonic Wars and deciding who was going to win. They financed both sides of the war between the states. They financed mo both sides of most wars.